Now that you've got your node, we're going to help get it running by setting up what is called a VPS. Nodes in most blockchain technologies require a powerful computer and a stable internet connection in order to run well. Instead of buying an expensive computer and having to worry about preparing for internet outages, it's more cost effective and convenient for most people to rent a VPS for around 5 bucks a month. A VPS is a powerful virtual computer that almost never loses internet connection because it's monitored by a dedicated team. A good VPS provider can provide 100% guaranteed uptime. I'm going to use Vulture and walk you through the process to set up a VPS and connect it to your node. First, we're going to log in. You can create an account and log in from here on the homepage, but since I already have an account, I'll skip to the login. Vulture will have you set up your preferred payment method, and once you're done, we'll hover over this plus sign on the top right and click on Deploy New Server. From here, we're going to select a few different options. First, we're going to choose a cloud compute server. Next, scrolling down, we're going to choose the location closest to us. In my case, that is Los Angeles. For the server type, we're going to click on Debian. This is incredibly important. Make sure that your server is on Debian or the node will not work. Also, make sure that you're at the newest version, 11x64, and we'll keep moving down. For the server size, we don't actually need that much memory, so we're going to click on the lowest memory option, 25 gigabytes, and that should run you for about $5 a month. Skip the additional features, we don't need any of them, and some of them can actually break the node. So we're going to go down to our name here, and I like to name my nodes so that I can keep them organized, so for this one I'll name it switch node 1. You can have switch node 2 in the future, or a green node, a blue node, I just like to keep them organized like this so it's easy to know what's running and what's not. Once you're done, click on Deploy Now. As you can see, our server is installing, and once it's done, it will update its status to say that it's ready. I'll cut back when we get there. Now that our server is up and running, we can install the Node software. In order to get started, we're going to click on the three dots here, and click on Server Details. This will bring up a page with a bunch of information about our server, but most importantly, it will show us our username and password in order to log into our server. We're going to copy the password now by clicking on the Copy Password button right here in order to use it in a sec. Next, in order to access our server, we're going to click on the computer monitor icon up here called View Console, and that should open a new window. Once our window is open, you should see a bunch of installation information, and at the bottom here, if we hit enter, it should prompt us to log into our switch node. We will do so using that username and password that we just saw on this page, so I'll type in root, R-O-O-T, and hit enter. Now, we've copied the password, but in order to paste it into this window, we have to do a few special things. First, we're going to click on the arrow here, then we're going to click on the clipboard button. Next, we're going to click inside this box here and paste our password into the box. Finally, in order to paste this information into the server, we will click on the paste button and that should make everything disappear from that box. Nothing will show up inside the server, but that's a security feature of Debian, so that's totally normal. And we'll close this menu here by clicking on the arrow one more time and hitting enter to continue. This should allow us to log into our Debian server and we're going to run one line of code that I will include in the description of this video. Copy this code from the video's description and once you're ready, we're going to click on the arrow icon one more time, click on the clipboard just like we did before and paste that line of code into the clipboard. Finally, we'll hit paste here and watch it get typed out into the server. And once it's done, we will simply close this window one more time and hit enter. The server will prompt us to log in with our switch username and password, which I will do now. And once we're done, the server should configure our node and tell you that it's ready to run the node. Sometimes the server will ask for an additional confirmation, just a yes or no. If it does, just hit Y and hit enter to continue. Finally, I'm going to show you one more little trick to check and make sure that your node is active and running, just like you see here. In order to do so, we're going to click on the arrow on the clipboard, and then we're going to paste in one more little bit of code that I will include in the description as well. That looks like this. 
We'll click on paste, and then we can close this menu again and hit enter. You should see that your node is active and running, and if it is, you're all set. Enjoy your node, and we'll see you next time.